Hey everybody, it's uh, Tim here with A4 Outdoors and I want to make a quick video on the Can-Am Outlander, or the, I'm sorry, the Can-Am Maverick Max uh, center seat bags. Um, I just purchased these and I want to kind of do a quick little overview of the front center and the rear center bag. This is the rear bag from Can-Am and I'll put a link at the bottom um, that you can go online. We get most of our stuff's from Amazon. So definitely, you know, Amazon usually has the best prices, quickest shipping and stuff like that. You know, when you're gonna get stuff other than that, you know, when you order it from maybe dealers. Not that, not that that's wrong or anything like that, but uh, I'll provide the link there. This is the rear bag, okay? I like it. This is the, the bag from Can-Am. So this is a BRP product. It's just, this one does not have a lot of room. Mounting, it's super easy. The piece that pops off right here in between your back seats, or if you have a two-seater, the you know the main seats, there's a piece that pops right off, and this hooks over the top and the bottom of that piece, so it snaps in tight. Um, I do have several aftermarket things on here, and when you get a Can-Am product, it's tight. I mean, it fits the way it is supposed to. Um, this snaps in there. I mean, this joker doesn't move. It's where it's supposed to go. It just looks clean, it looks nice, nice material. Um, it looks like it's gonna be pretty water resistant. Um, of course, not waterproof, but it's gonna be water resistant, I believe. These, as far as storage, it's got a nice little net pocket on the front. You know, put your cell phone or you know whatever for rear passengers if you don't have door bags. But um, when you unzip it, as far as room inside, it doesn't have a lot. I mean, it's, got another little net pocket it's pretty deep it goes down in here a pretty good way so it's definitely a good spot to maybe throw some gloves some goggles a sandwich snacks crackers you know all that good stuff um, it's not really deep I would say the deepest part with the door shuts probably only about three or four you know three to four inches deep as you can tell it's not you know it's not super deep but um, it is a nice little compartment. These, you know, the X3s, they don't have a lot of storage in them, hardly at all. So once you get door bags, I would recommend this back bag, um, especially for your rear passengers, throw your cell phone, stuff like that in um, there. Like I said, it's super easy to install. Um, great addition. They are fairly expensive. I think this one's about 90 bucks um, on Amazon or anywhere. So... Um, and then we're, you know, as far as the front one, this one is the one I really like. Same setup, looks the same as the back one, as you can tell. Um, it's made basically the same, but this one is much bigger. This one has the same, you know, pocket on the front. It mounts by three Velcro. Once you, you know, you just hook it across the top really nice and snug, and then it gives you two on the side to hook to the, the rear handrails at the top that go down for the handles um, and then the bottom hooks right over top of your console the only downfall of this one you will lose a club cup holder in the front um, so it covers one of your cup holders so you only get one cup holder but I've got I'll show you here also I've got a kind of a solution for that that I really like um, it's worth losing one cup holder I believe to get this much storage so basically, you, there is two holes you have to drill. Once this slides right over the console perfectly, you just move the seats forward, um, strap in the top, and you'll see exactly where you need to, the holes in the bag. You just drill two little 3 8 holes, and they have push pins. Looks extremely factory, super easy. You can install this thing in like five minutes. I mean, it's easy. Now, this one is a lot deeper than the back bag opens the same way but it is huge i mean this thing has a lot of room there is it's deep it has a kind of a net pocket in the back with a zipper also got a it has a lot of room you can really put a lot of stuff in there you can put jackets gloves goggles food anything you want to put in there and it'll stay secure and i, I really like this front bag and it is in there um, and also, you know, you adjust it from the, you can zip it up from the front, but the rear passengers can also get to this bag. So I'll show you. It has zipper openings on both sides in the back. So that way the rear passenger, if they need to grab something out of there, they can reach right in there and grab it to get stuff out of the back. 
you do keep both of your rear cup holders so it's it comes close to the rear cup holder but it you know definitely doesn't block it and they've all and it also has a has a um little net right here in the back too to put something but you don't lose any cup holders in the in the uh, rear which is nice for your rear passengers um, when you do lose the front cup holder i purchased um, this is kind of a clamp on cup holder that will hold anything from a water bottle up to a big yeti cup or anything that, it, that adjusts and it's got a clamp and tightens this is cool because the passenger really it's right there close it's really sturdy it hooks onto here you can mount it pretty much anywhere you can find a place um, but this is from Kimimoto. I'll put a link on that also. Definitely go on there and get that. These are super cheap, like 12 bucks or something like that. 10 to $15, somewhere in that range. Um, to hold that, and I also got some of the um, rear bottle holders. You know, you might want to put something in here that is, you don't have to keep cold, or if it's wintertime, it really doesn't matter. So the bottle, you know, water bottles will get in there and they can tighten right up. Another cup. Um, if you need to carry something that does not have to stay cold that you might want to, I don't know, mix into something, these are nice little um, strap-on things to have. It goes right around the roll cage, really sturdy to put your water bottles and whatever you want to put in them. It'll hold, like I said, all the way up to the big 32-ounce Yeti cup. Really nice, and it tightens right up. And I'll put a link to those also. Um, but anyway... Two, two bags, highly recommend them. They are expensive. I think the front one's a little more expensive. It's about $100, and the back one's, I think, $90. Um, but again, I'll put a link. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit a like. Subscribe to our channel um, for more to come. I've got a few more accessories that we've put on the machine that um, I'll do a little review or maybe some installation video 